This is the second digital citizenship lesson for grade three called Password Power Up. How can a strong password help protect your privacy? After watching this video, students should be able to define the term password and describe its purpose understand why a strong password is important, and practice creating a memorable and strong password. What is something in your life that you take steps to protect? Why and how do you protect it? Take a moment to think silently about these questions. Then, share your response with a family member. Some of you may have been thinking you have a diary and you like hiding your diary. Or when you use your bike, you like to lock it up. Or maybe you have a favorite toy and you want to keep that toy in a safe place. Let's think about when we use devices like a phone or computer. How do you limit who can access something that you want to protect and why you would limit access? Some of you may have been thinking that you would include a password or you would lock your device. Some of you use your fingerprints or your face in order to unlock. One of the most common ways to protect your device and information online is by using a password. A password is a secret string of letters, symbols, and numbers that you can use to restrict who can access something digital. Some passwords, however, are stronger than others because they are harder for someone to figure out. Let's investigate why strong passwords are important and how you can make sure yours are strong. Now we're going to do some scenarios. I want you to read along as I read to you the five different scenarios, and then I want you to think, if this happened, then what could happen? Scenario one, Maya forgets her phone on the bus. If someone found it and figured out her password to unlock it, then what could happen? If you need to, pause the video and think and share with somebody at home. When you're ready, pr press play. Is this what you thought? If someone figured out her phone unlock password, then they could see her messages, use her apps, and pretend to be her. Scenario two. Jared writes his email address in his notebook and leaves it open while he goes to the bathroom. If someone saw his email address and figured out his email password, then what could happen? If you need to, pause the video. When you're done thinking and reflecting with a family member, go ahead and press play. Were you thinking that if someone figured out his email password, then they could see private emails he has sent and received, and they could pretend to be him online? Here's scenario three. Kylie goes over to her friend Asia's house to play an online video game. After she leaves, her gaming profile is still saved. Asia's little brother, Ben, turns on the game and sees it. If Ben figured out Kylie's password, then what could happen? Again, if you would like to pause the video for a moment so you can think and discuss this with a family member, pause now, and when you're ready, press play. Were you thinking that if Ben figured out her video game password, then he could pretend to be her online and hurt her reputation? Scenario four, Thomas uses an app on his phone to pay bills from his bank account. If someone figured out his password to the app, then what could happen? Again, if you want to, pause the video now so you can discuss this with your family. And when you're ready, Press play. Did you think that if someone figured out his banking password and username, 
Then they could steal money from his account. Scenario 5. Beatrix, Beatrix logs into her doctor's website to see medical information about herself. If someone figured out her password to the website, then what could happen? Again, if you'd like to pause the video now to discuss this with your family, please do and then press play when you're ready. If someone figured out her website password, then they could find out private health and medical information about her. The consequences we just talked about might seem scary, but there is something you can do to make sure no one ever guesses your password. Here are some important steps to power up your password. One way is to make a strong password is to start with a memorable phrase. A phrase is a group of words that go together and are easy to remember. We're going to do a practice round together using the phrase, there's no way I'm kissing a frog. So we've already completed step one, which is to come up with a phrase. Your second step is to write down just the first letters of each word in the phrase. T N W I K A F. There's no way I'm kissing a frog. Step three, capitalize some of the letters. Remember which ones you would like to capitalize. In this example, I capitalized the T, K, and F. Next, add one or two memorable numbers. In this case, the number 44 was added. So now we have capital T, lowercase n, W, I, 44, uppercase K, lowercase a, capital F. Your next step is to memorize it. You want to repeat your new passport in your head so it sticks. Here are the directions again. I want you to practice making your own password. Step one, start with a memorable phrase. Important that only your parents should know your password. Never use any private identity information in your password. Create passwords with at least eight characters. Use letters, numbers, and symbols in your password. We care about everybody's privacy. Now it's your turn to practice. Can you create your own password using those steps? Good luck, and don't forget, to share that password with a family member.